We have this uh, underwater kicking progression. Uh, Braden Holloway started that. Uh, I think he started that when he was at Virginia Tech. Uh, I think he carried him over, and and we did we did the underwater kicking progression for all sprinters and middle distance swimmers. Uh, we'll continue to do this here at UNCW now. So it's like a three different segment. We're going one of them with the socks, and we go like maybe twelve repetition of maybe the first week with fourteen dolphin kicks, just building up that taking about 20 to 30 second rest or so, building up that muscle endurance. And then after that segment, 12 repetition, you go into tower, go another 12 repetition of the same kick count. And then you're finishing up with 12 repetition with fins all at 25. So, so it's kind of go like that, right? And then bi-weekly you increase, either decreasing the kick count, increasing the volume of the repetition or you adding more weights and stuff. So. It really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so I, I'm a big fan of that. And, and again, being consistent on there's a progression to it every week. Um, and at the same time, and focusing on power endurance, strength endurance, and building up the, the endurance capacity, uh, uh, the strength capacity wise uh, within the week and within the, the repetition, I think that's really important. So, so yeah, I think that's, that's a, Again, 12, no more than, not much more than 14 dolphin kicks when we put uh, parachutes or, or any socks, because I mean, in reality, they don't really do much more than 10 dolphin kicks per 25 when they race. So we, the end goal is, you know, what, what are you trying to accomplish? Like the end goal is like maybe as strong as really as fast as you can, eight dolphin kicks and repeat that for four laps or eight laps.